welcome to Make Do Mama. Today we're going to make some ricotta cheese and use that to make one of my favorite sandwiches, a lasagna sandwich. So first of all, why we are making cheese? Well, we haven't been able to go to any of the larger cities due to um, travel being shut down between cities because of the coronavirus outbreak. So we have been out of cheese for about two weeks now and we really like some. So let's make some cheese. So the first thing you need is some milk. Now I have two different kinds of milk here. One is the right kind. Can you guess which one? It's this one with the blue characters on it. This one you do not want. Sometimes we buy the wrong kind on accident because they look so similar. This is a flavored milk. It's got um, some fruit and vegetable juice in it, some grains, and it's sweetened, and this is not good. You don't want this. You want the blue one. So we're gonna use about two cups of blue milk. We are going to put our milk into a pot or a pan or whatever you have. I have two pans, the soup pot and a non-stick pan for frying. Now it's time to heat the milk and you're going to need some sort of thermometer. I have this one from my mom, thank you, the meat thermometer, but we're only going to go up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. So you need this, you need some salt, and you need some vinegar or lemon juice. I like to use vinegar. You're going to want to have these ready to go before you start heating your milk. So let's start heating it gently up to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. This is starting to boil. I think that my thermometer may be a little off. So we're going to turn this off the heat and go ahead and add our salt and our vinegar. I've got one tablespoon of white vinegar and I'm gonna put in half a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna give that a gentle stir. Make sure everybody's in there. And then we're gonna let it sit for 10 minutes and let the curds and whey form. As you can see, we've got some good curds forming there. So what we're gonna have over here is a bowl to catch the whey, a sieve or um, some sort of strainer, and then cheesecloth or in our case, a rag that came free with our dish soap. Um, and we're gonna pour our cheese mixture into here and the curds are gonna stay up here and the whey is gonna fall down. So let's pour that in there. We are going to let this sit for uh, 10 minutes, at least, maybe longer, to let the whey get down into the bottom of the bowl. So as you can see, our curds have formed and the whey has fallen through. And so we're gonna put this into a little bowl here. Um, we like to use this um, on sandwiches, um, in lasagna, on pasta. And I even tried it in tacos instead of like sour cream. And that was really good last time. I really liked that. So there's some extra options for you. So there's our ricotta cheese. Now we have our cheese and we can make my favorite sandwich. I remember having this as a kid. Uh, we got a new cookbook. I think my sister's class had a fundraiser. And in this cookbook was a recipe for a lasagna sandwich. No, they didn't use ricotta cheese. They used a mixture of Parmesan, mozzarella, and I think it was sour cream. And in there they put some Italian spices and put that on the inside of their sandwich. So this is what we are going to do. First, you need some bacon, some bread, some tomatoes, and then our ricotta, our spices. Now let me show you the bacon we have. Now, 
we've recently discovered this. We can find this in our supermarket here in our small town. And it's actually really, really long. When you buy it, it's like uh, this long, okay? For about 50 yuan, which is maybe $8. It's a lot of bacon. Now, it's a little different from American bacon because this is super, super smoky. You slice it yourself and it's quite fatty, but it's really delicious. So we're gonna use that in our sandwich. All right, we're going to add some things to our ricotta. This is all to taste. So I'm gonna add a little pinch of salt, some black pepper. Oops, that was maybe too much. Our pepper here is pretty spicy, so um, we have to be pretty careful about how much we use. I'm gonna use a pinch of garlic powder. This is also pretty strong. I don't want too much of that. And then I've got some dried basil. That looks good. And some dried oregano. Give that a stir. And this is going to be the spread for the inside of our bread. Yes, I'm excited already. So the bread we get here in China um, comes kind of sliced, like the bottom of it is still all stuck together, so you have to finish slicing it when you bring it home. And the bread here is also a little bit sweeter than what we're used to in the States. So I'm going to spread our ricotta mixture on both sides of our bread. Then we've got our bacon. This is it fried up. Look how much smaller it got from here, but it's really, really good, really smoky and strong, so I don't want that much of it on there. So we've got three little bacon slices. I've got some tomato here. I'm just gonna use two. And there is our sandwich. Now we're going to heat it up. So I'm gonna put some oil in my frying pan. And we're gonna do this just like you would a grilled cheese until it's nice and toasty on each side. This is ready. Take it out and cut it. Mm, lasagna sandwich. I hope that you try making some ricotta cheese yourself, and if you do, you should definitely try to make your own lasagna sandwich. It's delicious. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.